I've got some cotton wool here. I'm just going to tease it apart a little bit with my fingers. I'm going to put that in the bottom of this plastic tube and put the tube on top of this base here. I've also got a piston which I'm going to put in the top of the tube. So what I've got is about 15 centimetres cubed of trapped air. If I push the piston down, I compress the air and when I release it, it springs back up. I bought this kit from a supplier on the internet, but you could probably rig something similar up yourself. The question is, what happens if I push the piston down really quickly? Watch this. The cotton catches fire, which is quite surprising if you haven't seen it before, especially if you consider that the ignition temperature of cotton is about 240 degrees C. This device is called a fire piston, and I use it in school when I'm teaching about the kinetic theory of gases. I usually get my students to predict what they think will happen, and then to explain what they actually see. So what's going on? Well, there are two ways of explaining this. We can use macroscopic ideas, which don't refer to particles. When I push the piston down, I'm applying a force to the air. And since the force moving through a distance does work, it means I'm transferring energy to the air. And it's this which increases the temperature of the air, which leads to the cotton igniting. Now, this process has to happen very quickly, otherwise the energy escapes into the walls of the tube. The second way to explain this is in microscopic terms. According to the kinetic theory, the particles of air are constantly moving around and colliding with the walls of the container and with each other. The situation changes when I push the piston down because when a particle collides with a moving piston, it bounces off with a greater speed, and that's because it gains momentum from the moving piston. Now, this process happens billions and billions and billions of times over, so that the average speed, and hence the average kinetic energy, of the particles in the air increases. Now, in macroscopic terms, that means the temperature of the air increases, because temperature is directly proportional to the average kinetic energy of particles in a gas. So if the molecules are moving quickly enough, the temperature is high enough to ignite the cotton.